Howdy, I'm Sadie Mae with the Awesome Orange, and I recently went to a friend's house and he cut me out some hunks of Indian rosewood that I think would be perfect for some power carving. Let's see what we can get ourselves into. A big thank you to Sabretooth for sponsoring this video. Once I got the pieces home, I kind of looked through them and figured these round ones could make some perfect bowls. And then I looked at the longer ones and I saw that grain running down the middle of it. And I was like, I need to make something out of this one. One was thicker, one was thinner. I went ahead and went with a thicker one. And the first thing I did was take it over to my jointer and get that base slide perfectly flat. So it did take a couple of times running it through there. And then I'm gonna take it to the planer and get the other side parallel. flat it's time to start carving I'm using my saber tooth four inch carving burrs they do come in several different grits and I'm gonna be starting with the highest grit that I have which is orange or coarse grit they do come in higher grits um, in purple or blue if you're needing something even more aggressive I did set up outside because it is so dusty when carving and I just started focusing on the ends or the bottom outside of the bowl to get their shape first. I really didn't have any plan when I started this carve. I'm just kind of seeing where the wood takes me. And with any carving piece, you do want to make sure that everything is clamped down secure while carving because you'd hate to see it go flying away on you. the other side carved, it was time to focus on hollowing out the center. So I drew some guidelines approximately where I wanted the edges to stop and then I'm going to use that same four inch disc in coarse grit and start hollowing away. carving, you're always constantly moving your body or moving the piece just so you can approach it from the right angle. There's also a lot of pulling or pushing depending on the effect that you're wanting to go for. You'll see in the corners um, or in the beginning I do a lot of pulling just to re remove the material super fast but then as we get a little bit deeper I will be pushing up into those corners to try to control that shape. That looks pretty good for the rough shape of this bowl but it is still super heavy so as I said I'm making this up as I go along I decided let's put some feet on this bowl and really take some of the thickness and weight off of it so I'm just kind of giving myself some guidelines and then we're going to start removing the bulk of the material using that same orange disc from Sabretooth With 
with the majority of it removed, I went ahead and switched over to my die grinder with the one inch sphere burr in that orange coarse grit and just clean up around the feet, um, hollow out some more of in between the legs because I couldn't get the disc to reach and then just you know smooth everything out. Once I have it how I liked it there, I went ahead and switched over to the Whisper or Fine Grit disc and I'm just going to use that to clean up any of my carving marks and this will help with sanding down the road. Lastly, I used the Whisper in a bull nose bit um, just to go around those legs and really clean them up as well. Then sanding with the orbital sander and then I sanded with about every sanding tool that I own and I did find a new sanding tool that I'll link in the description below that worked pretty well for the concave surfaces and around these feet. Not exactly sure what they're called but again I'll leave that link below. bowl on a whim and not quite sure how I'm going to use it yet so I'm going to go ahead and use some uh, food safe finish on it from Total Boat and look at that Indian rosewood come to life that is just absolutely gorgeous and I love the color now let's test out how we should use this should it be a fruit bowl a catch-all tray or a centerpiece on the coffee table. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss my next awesome build, or in this case, carve. It's crazy to think we started with a log we turned it into one awesome bowl. Thanks for watching and remember, build loud, build wild, and have an awesome day.